Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we're going to create a card using a stamp set from Avery L. The set's called Beautiful Bl uh, Bow. And I thought it'd be, well, you know, whenever I look for stamp sets, I would look for versatility. Well, this has a tag that you can fill in with so many occasions. There's congrats and joy. There's love you. There's happy birthday. There is season's greetings, best wishes just for you. So that's why I picked this up. It's been around for a while, um, but I really liked it. I thought it'd be fun to create a kind of masculine card today. So let's jump in and get to it. I'm bringing in my Misty, my stamp positioner. And we're going to be using some oatmeal cookie cardstock. I have a panel that is a card front size panel. I'm going to lightly tack it with my tape runner to my Misty. And then we are going to stamp that beautiful bow. It's pretty much a solid, solid-ish image. And so I thought the Misty would help me stamp it. I did have to stamp it a few times. But we're going to take the other piece of the ribbon. And then we're also going to take the little tag. And I think the neatest thing is all those sentiments there will fit inside that tag. So, presents for all occasions here. <laughs> we are going to ink up, got to retack that down again, but we're going to ink up our, um, our bow and ribbon and tag with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I wanted a nice bold black bow for my present here. And once I have this stamped, we're going to go ahead and um, remove our stamps from our Misty. But isn't that pretty? I just think the dimension that that has is amazing for just being a flat image. But while we have the Misty out, I am going to create a wrapping paper background using some craft card stock as well. That's what oatmeal cookie card stock is to me. It's uh, like a real nice craft card stock. So we're going to grab another piece. I'm going to tack that down to my Misty here. And I'm bringing in a stamp set that I've used before. It's a background stamp from Stampers Anonymous. Um, I love the plaid in here. So I thought this would make the perfect uh, wrapping paper. I'm going to place that over my panel there. Press it down really good. And I think we better remove the mouse pad. It's a pretty thick stamp here. <laughs> we'll retack that down. And then I'm going to be doing a tone on tone, keeping it kind of on the masculine. This is oatmeal cookie ink. It coordinates with my cardstock perfectly. And I'm just going to ink up my background and stamp it a few times to get a solid image. But um, I'm calling this a masculine card, but guys, it could be universal. I think um, I do add glitter to it. I know masculine, well, I just think a little sparkle for birthdays is what we need. So <laughs> it could be for anyone, I suppose. Okay, so there's our background. Nice plaid, tone on tone. Next, we're going to stamp our sentiment inside that little tag. And again, each one of these sentiments will fit inside there. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sentiments in total with this bow. I'm stamping happy birthday and I tell you I couldn't do that again if I tried. I stamped once and I missed stamped. I was ready to restamp my tag again and um, to stamp the sentiment but I actually positioned it the second time perfectly. I couldn't do that again I tell you. <laughs> it's my lucky day. <laughs> I'm trimming down this panel here. I end up trimming it down a little bit more in a little bit but um Originally, I thought we'll check it out and see if we're going to do a portrait style or landscape card. We're going to go ahead and trim down our ribbon. I'm going to use my paper trimmer for this piece. Um, I'm not sure if this set has coordinating dies or not, but um, I always like to link them after the video too in case you guys um, are interested in the dies. But I think fussy cutting this out was pretty easy. I use my paper trimmer for that bow or that ribbon. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, detail scissors and trim out my tag. I am going to go all the way to the line for my tag because I want to um, make those strings look kind of realistic. So going to the line I think helps out. I'm going to go ahead and just use my scissors and fussy cut around it. Pretty easy to do. I like to curve the paper versus curving um, my scissors. It just seems to get an easier, uh, cleaner cut for me. 
but there's my tag. Now for this bow, I'm gonna, the, the straight edges, I'm gonna use my larger scissors here, and then um, around the bow, I'll just fussy cut. So everything's fussy cut and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of figure out my placement. This is what it would look like if I wanted to do a, a landscape style card. I would put this piece uh, vertical, this piece horizontal, and kind of crisscross them. But I think we're gonna go for a portrait style today. And I think this is gonna look great like this. I'm gonna use my tape runner and lightly tack my bow piece to my ribbon. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. I'm gonna tuck the string part of my tag underneath there. And I think that looks great. I was gonna go ahead and add foam adhesive behind it, but I thought, you know what, we're gonna trim down um, our present size. We're gonna make it a more workable size. I do end up trimming it down to three and a quarter inches by four and a half, just using my paper trimmer. Now there's a little bit of that bow hanging over off the left edge. Um, I wanna leave that and fussy cut that side um, with my scissors. I wanted that little piece to give it a little realistic look overhanging. So we'll just take our scissors and trim off that ribbon part. I was gonna fold it over and I thought um, the rest weren't folded over, better trim it off. We can see that piece hanging over. I think it just looks more realistic. Okay, after we have this done, I'm gonna pop it up with some foam squares to give our bow a little bit of dimension. Today's card's a pretty easy card, but um, love the way it turned out. And I think it's, great, again, great for masculine um, cards, which I uh, don't have very many of. <laughs> Okay, I think we need a little bit of extra something in the background. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of black cardstock that measures three and a quarter inches and by five and a quarter inches. I'm gonna trim that down with my trimmer. And I'm gonna place this wonky on my card base just so little pieces are overhanging. And then we can crisscross it. I've been loving this look lately. We're gonna go ahead and grab our paper trimmer and I'm, this is where I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit more on this right side. So again, it will measure um, three and a quarter inches by four and a half inches. I think that's the perfect present size. I'm gonna go ahead and use my tape runner and adhere my black panel, angling it at a diagonal. And again, just little bits hanging over. So I'll open up my card and just trim off the excess. I think I have three little pieces that are overhanging. Now for my present, I am gonna add foam adhesive behind that. And then we'll just remove the release paper and add this kind of wonky, going the opposite direction of our black panel there. Lovely. Okay, now I am gonna bring in a little bit of um, glitter. I'm using some, some stickles from Ranger. These are called, this is called Glisten. Um, Glisten has gold, copper, and silver all mixed together, and I think it goes really well with this color combination. I went um, all over the craft area on my bow um, doing straight lines with it. So when it dries, it dries a little bit sparkly, kind of festive, but still masculine, I think. But that's my project today. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. We'll see you next week. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.